Today I plan on doing the valve stem seals in the Corolla, but before we get started, viewers have mentioned that they think this engine is worn out. So when I scoped the engine before, I didn't know exactly what I was looking at, and I didn't know exactly what I was looking for, but a lot of you did, and a lot of you mentioned some things that you saw signs that it was worn out, and other people said they look great. So I looked at these videos and I took into consideration these comments and I think before we get started on the valve stem seals we need to rescope the engine one more time. And the important thing about scoping it is that we know the orientation of the scope as it's going in. And I didn't know that when I scoped it originally. There was no good way to tell on my scope which way it's oriented. There is a little mark on it but it, it's very hard to see so I've highlighted the mark so I know which way the scope is going in and it's very important that we know basically what's the front of the cylinder and what's the back of the cylinder because that's where you're going to see the signs of the wear. If the cylinder has this wear then even if we unstick the rings or even replace the rings it's not going to stop the oil consumption because basically it's a hollowed out spot in the cylinder that allows the oil to slip by every time the piston passes that point. At least I think that's what it is. You can correct me in the comments. So let's really quickly rescope the cylinders and see if we have those signs of wear. Now, if we do have those signs of wear, we cannot rebore this engine. It's considered a throwaway engine. So it will just mean it's shot. So let's check this out so we know we're not wasting our time with the valve stem seals. Disconnect the battery. Yeah. Like a chipmunk has been eating acorns in here or something. Spark plugs. We'll look at these in a minute. So here's a look at those spark plugs in the order they came out. That would be one, two, three, and four. It's number one, number two, Number three and number four. And of course, I'll mention again, I do have new spark plugs for this. I just don't want to put them in yet to get them all fouled up. And I know a lot of you guys think I should go ahead and do it, and maybe I should, but I'm a tightwad and I just don't want to risk ruining my brand new spark plugs that I might be able to resell if we decide that this uh, is unfixable. Now I'm going to put this dowel in cylinder number one so that we can find when it's at the bottom of its stroke. Now I'm going to put a wrench with a 19 millimeter socket down on the crankshaft pulley on the bolt in the middle of course so that I can turn the crankshaft. So you can see it went up. Now Actually, let's mark the top and the bottom of the stroke. So there is the bottom. So we'll put a little mark on there right at the bottom. Now crank it on around to the top of the stroke. And that's the top. Make another little mark. Let's just write up on this side. Oh. Now we'll go back to the bottom. And let's break out the scope. All right, so here is the scope. 
and hopefully you can see this because we need to know what the orientation is and the only way to tell is there is a little mark right there which i have tried to highlight white but it was just a little black indention and it looks like most of the white has come off of it might need to re-highlight that but we need to make sure we know where that is at all times when we're looking in the cylinder all right i've just paired this you can see this with the scope hopefully the battery is good i see it um showing red there hopefully we'll get through this now almost every time i do this i forget to hit record but i have just hit record so find the orientation dot where is it where is it there is up so i'm going to take my dowel out put it somewhere where it won't get dirty now i'm going to look at the back of the cylinder first so I'm going to tilt this just a little bit like this and keep that dot up there and go in there we go now I'm looking we're looking at the back of the cylinder all right, so what are we seeing here? Okay, those look like oil streaks going up and down the side of the engine. Do we see scoring? Uh, is that scoring up there near the top? Or can we still see the cross hatching through that? I think we can still see the cross hatching. There is scoring going up and down, it looks like. But I don't know. All right, yeah, the, okay, so there's no up and down scoring on the side. But there is on the back. But how bad is it? Does it look bad enough that it would be causing a divot or a bowl or whatever you would call it in the side of the cylinder there? I don't think it does because I, I can still see the cross hatching through there. Okay, let's look at the front. Let's see, I'm going to take this all the way out to make sure we get the orientation right. And. go again so should be the front of the cylinder I see cross hatching Give it a little more of a tilt. See it better. See if this works. Get it in there. Come on. Oh, can't get it in there that way. All right. We're still in the front. This is the front. So there is the front, and I see cross hatching for sure. Even through where you can see a little bit of up and down scoring there, you can still see the cross hatching. So, as far as I'm concerned, I think there's hope. All right, let's look at another look at another one we'll look at number three here because it should be about the same oh no i'm sorry 
duh, it's, it's one and four that are the same. Sorry about that, guys, I know. It's a pretty stupid mistake. So we're gonna look at the front of the cylinder first. Cylinder number four here. What do we see? I see the scoring in the front there, but I see the cross hatching still through the scoring. So I do not think that bore is worn. I mean, you know, worn so bad that it, it the rings won't fix it. All right, let's look at the back of it. Pull it out. Again, this is cylinder number four here. Now we're looking at the back. We got all that oil on the wall there. But do we see the cross hatching through there? I do. I see it. Cross hatching all along here. Cross hatching all along there. Here is the back. And there's still cross hatching through there. Now maybe the problem is at the very top of the cylinder, which we can't see because this is that's as far as, as we can see. Alright, let's look at the number two and number three. Let's put the dowel in number two here. Crank it down. Alright, that's the bottom of the stroke. Take the dowel out. I can no longer see my white dot. Alright, let's look at the back of cylinder number two. There we go. Alright, here is the back of number two. Let me put this where I can see it better. What are we seeing? I still see cross hatching. I see a lot of oil in there coming down from the top. Which could be, you know, our spark plug valve cover gasket seal. Um, could be the valve stem seals. I do see the scoring going straight up and down, but as before, I see cross hatching even through the scoring. That's not a very clear picture, but I think it's good enough to tell that. Definitely see cross hatching. All right, let's look at the front of it. All right, there's the oil running down inside there. Cross hatching all the way, top to bottom. The front looks good. The front looks really good. Turn that back around. Okay, there's, where's the back? There's the back. It's kind of blurry, sorry about that, but I think I can still see the cross hatching through the scoring, if that even is scoring. Might just be oil streaks or carbon streaks. All right, let's move on to cylinder number three. I'm going to be looking at the back of cylinder number three here. This is the back of cylinder number three. Ah, see a little scoring there. But I still see the cross hatching in the scoring. Definitely see definitely see cross hatching in the scoring. All right, let's look at the front. This is the front cylinder number three. Cross hatching through the scoring. 
just pure cross hatching on the sides and cross hatching through the scoring on the front all right but I do see a lot of oil coming down from the top it might be the valve stem seals but regardless I say let's go ahead with it so now I can actually put my bucket back over this one so that I know it's done if you enjoyed the video please consider hitting the like button and as always thanks for watching and we hope to see you all in the next one